Valdez versus Shakur Stevenson. How do you see that fight break it down for us? Valdez is going to crack him and Shakur is going to be on his bicycle. You think so? Yeah. yeah. Shakur is going to run track and field. Is he going to end up winning that one? I don't know. He's going to run, be running track and field, though. <laughs> do you think it'll be a good fight then, or do you think Larry, because of what you said, it's going to be a boring you, fight? Wait, what? Do you think it's going to be a boring fight then? Valdez is going to try to make it interesting, but Shakur is going to try to make it the most boringest fight you have ever seen. Yeah, a, lot of, a lot of fans are hyped for it, but... Yeah. I'm not. <laughs> what can Oscar do to win the fight? Hit him a lot. Yeah? Hit him like a lot. Uh, he, 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 he's going to push out. Shakur Who's pushed Shakur? out with Ruben Villa, mm -hmm. with Robesa Ramirez, mm -hmm. and he's a crybaby. Mm -hmm. And he's cried multiple times after him getting his ass beat. How, how so the, like, uh, the push out part? Like, he's going he's gonna to run on his bicycle, and he's gonna, he doesn't have much balls. He has... Uh, I think his ball is slowly going inside of him. And, yeah. You know, I don't. I don't really want to count out Oscar Valdez. I think he has a puncher's chance. I think. I think Shakur Stevens is brilliant. Has a brilliant mind, a brilliant boxing IQ. So. I would, I would have to lean more towards the boxer here, um, Shakur Stevenson. I think he's going to move and do whatever it takes, punch, counter punch, do whatever it takes to, to kind of isolate uh, Oscar Valdez and his game and what he brings. So I would say Shakur Stevenson, I would say eight, eight rounds to four. I think he wins the fight. A great fight. It's the young guys trying to test each other. And um, they all say uh, Shakur Stevenson is a great boxer and he's one of the top dogs. And... He's the next Mayweather and all of this, and that Oscar Valdez tries to ruin that. So at the end of the day, we're going to have two amazing fighters fighting each other. Hope the fight ain't boring because that's, that tends to happen when you got such great talents going against each other. And um, um, we should see more from, uh, you know, more from Shakur Stevenson. You destroyed Jamel Heron. You know, I already see Jamel Heron over there in Castano's camp and shit. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't really seen him fight a mover because he fought when I was with him. Who did he fight? Burchell. And he, you know, obviously Burchell's not a mover. And I think, I think he, I think I seen him fight Blue Nose Lopez, but he's kind of a mover, but not really. So it's like, would you even consider Shakur a mover? I mean, he definitely, if he, he definitely not a stayer. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, maybe that's a possibility. You know, because Valdez has tricky shots. You know, it's yeah. just it's the kind of punches that, well, like Eddie's camp trains on tricky shots, like shots that you know, you're, it's setup shots. So he always has to be on his P's and Q's, which Shukur is good at. No, no, he's just been too small. You know? yeah. Ooh, another another great fight. Yeah, I, I forgot about that one, but uh, look, I mean. Shakur is he's a special fighter. I, I think I think he has a lot of uh, a lot of great attributes and, and you know the skill is amazing, his reflexes are phenomenal. Um, yeah, every fighter can get beat if you figure him out. And if there's a fighter who can figure somebody out, that's Oscar Oscar Valdez. So um, it's it's a good fight. I think uh, I think conditioning is gonna play a big part. I think the pressure that Valdez can possibly put on him, or vice versa, because Shakur Stevenson is a fighter who comes forward. He's bigger, too. He's bigger, so I, it's a great fight. I think we have so many pick em fights right now in the horizon. Uh, I'm looking forward to that, man. What do you think, uh, outside of conditioning, is there anything else like Oscar can do to, to make sure he gets that one? Um, I, I think his will, you know? His will, his will to uh, just, he has to put that pressure on him, but just be very smart, be very careful on how he's doing it. Meaning, you can you can put a lot of pressure on a fighter without throwing a punch and get your opponent tired. Um, but if he can do that and throw the right right combinations and make Shakur Stevenson go back, it's, it can be a very interesting fight. It's yeah. interesting because uh, Shakur told me the biggest challenge to him in his eyes is the heart of Oscar. Because sure. Oscar's not yeah. going to quit. He's right. like, hey, that's a dangerous thing. Yeah, no, it is. I mean, the heart is always dangerous if you have skills like Oscar Valdez. So 
you know, skills, power, um, heart. It's it's a pretty dangerous combination. So yeah, both guys have their hand full, hands full. They both have great uh, great trainers in their corners, and uh, yeah, I think it's a great fight. He he just has the superior skills. Yeah, Valdez. Yeah, Valdez is a good fighter, though. Yeah. He's a good fighter. So yeah, you have a guy who scores bigger, longer. Had more success in the amateur yeah, yeah. What, How do you see play? Do you think it's going to be a dominating fight for him? Do you think it's going to yes. be like a... Yes. I think dominating is such a good Yes. Yeah. yeah, very dominating. Very dominating? Mm -hmm. Like one-sided? Completely. Completely one-sided. Yeah, completely. Does it go to full 12? It might not. Yeah. It, might, it might not. It might not. Uh, first of all, you know, um, I just feel very honored, you know, at, uh, from getting a compliment like that from Olympian, the silver medalist, you know, he's a great fighter. I feel like he's going to be unified champion in multiple divisions one day. So I feel very, uh, very motivated by just hearing him say that. And uh, I feel the same way about him. You know, he's a great fighter. He's probably one of the best 130 uh, pounders, you know, in the world today. And I feel like he's going to go in there and he's going to beat Valdez with no problem. I think it's going to be very uh, difficult for Valdez, Valdez to even catch him or, you know, to ca catch uh, Stevenson's counters. You know, and Stevenson, he's a, he's a he's a bad motherfucker as well. So you know, I'm very happy to hear that from him. Um, obviously, if you look at it and the uh, just stylistically, you know, uh, and just the, as a as a boxing fanatics, obviously you'll go for Shakur because of the style. He's really uh, hard to hit. Uh, he knows how to use the ring really well. And Oscar, well, you know, he's a front fighter, uh, aggressive fighter. He throws he throws wild punches. He, he opens up a lot. So right there, you just automatically, yeah, Shakur Stevenson. But there is a there is a training camp for a reason. There is a preparation for a reason. So if Oscar Valdez, which he does, has, has a great corner and uh, Eddie Reynoso. They change their game plan and do something different. You know, he's got a chance. He, he he does have the experience. But I mean, just off the top of my head, I think you know uh, Shakur Stevenson is just too smart. A good fight. I mean, honestly, I, I will go with Shakur not because he beat me. Nothing like that. I just think that um, when you match up the boxer versus the you know the, the slugger or the puncher, you may want to call it for Valdez. You seen what happened with his fight against Conceal in those first five rounds. He couldn't. He was having a hard time with that range and that jab. Uh, good fight, man. I think it's a great fight for the fans, though, for sure. You know, are they doing it here in the West Coast? Yeah, here in Vegas. Smart. Here at the smart. Yeah. yeah, very smart, actually. How do you think it turns out? Like, what do you think? What kind of uh, fight we see? Depends on the preparation, on who's the, you know, who wants it more. You know, it's a unification bout, and it's uh, it's for the WBC and the WBO. Yeah. You know, so that's uh, that's something to be very. I know that Shakur, he's a young, hungry fighter. Oscar Valdez, he's been showing back to back that he still could fight through anything from a broken jaw to to uh, just coming back from knockdowns, um, if anything. So I think it's it's gonna be a great fight. I can't really pick right now who who I who I who I'm going for. It's a 50-50, you know, everybody's going to side with who they want to side with. But overall, if you look at it, man, statistic-wise and stylistic-wise, man, it's, it's going to be a 50-50 fight because uh, Shakur don't like pressure, you know. Uh, but he's able to withstand it in a different way. And Oscar Valdez, what can I say with him? He's not good with boxes. So it's like you got to look at those two things. What's the pros and the cons to both fighters, you know, and they can say whatever they want, but it's going to be a great fight. The better guy on April 30th is going to win, and uh, uh, great for the winner. And uh, I'm sure the loser is going to cover himself with glory as well. When you look at the fight, what fight from the past does this fight uh, between Oscar and Shakur remind you of? Well, this looks to me a lot like uh, the old uh, uh, Barrera. Or Marquez, uh, uh, Morales uh, uh, fights uh, that we enjoyed so many years ago. I mean, these guys are really, really terrific fighters, and uh, you know it's going to be a, a, a very, very exciting fight. Uh, the pre-sale uh, has been enormous. So, you know, people realize that, what a good... Do you think it, it'll turn into one of those classics, like you mentioned, like a Barrera Morales? I think so, yeah, yeah. I really think so, because both of these guys are very prideful. And both of these guys have taken the fight 
not because they had to by any sanctioning body, but because they wanted it. So those kind of fights are really uh, intense uh, and enjoyable to watch. Shakur Stevenson, it's a good fight. Yeah, it's a very, very good fight. I, I'll link with uh, Stevenson, but it's a bloody good fight. Um, I think Shakur Stevenson in the next few years will be number one pound for pound fighter on the planet. The next Floyd Mayweather? He, he, possibly, quite possibly. And um, I can't look past a Shakur winning and winning in style as well. Um, I know, was it Valdez last time out against Robson can say, oh, a lot of people thought it was fortunate, but I can't look past um, a Shakur win and, and looking very good doing it. He punched like a bitch. It's not a big fight. It's another he set of He fight. punched like a bitch and no matter what he does, he still punches like a bitch. He fights like a bitch, he looks like a bitch, and he cries like a bitch. And that's not me talking shit, that's me being honestly true, he does cry like a little bitch. So needless to say, it sounds like you're not a fan of Shakur Stevenson either. I don't like the way he fucking looks either. I don't like the way he fights. I don't like the way, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. like boxers. B boxers are boring. I like fight. fighters. Bo dude. But like, who the fuck's idea was it? I'm gonna just touch you for 12 rounds. 12 rounds. I'm gonna just touch you. And I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna just touch you. That shit cute. That ain't boxing. <laughs> that fuck the motherfucker up. Fuck a motherfucker up. How do you think he does against Shakur Stevenson? Viendo el futuro, él va a tener una pelea con el Shakur Stevenson. No más, quería saber qué piensas de esa pelea con Oscar y, y uh, Shakur Stevenson. Eh, pues bueno, Shakur es un gran peleador, pero la verdad, eh, fuera de todo lo que haya pasado, aunque me haya ganado, la verdad, ojalá le, le vamos al mexicano. ¿Me entiendes? Esta bandera. Eh, significa mucho para nosotros y siempre queremos que otro mexicano esté levantándole y estamos orgullosos de ella. Pero bueno, Shakur ya empezó el juego psicológico, ya le dijo que los mentirosos nunca ganan. Y bueno, esperemos la pelea, a ver qué, qué pasa. Shakur es un gran peleador que viene de peso pluma, ahí está, está en super pluma, le ganó a Jemmer Harry. Y, y vamos a ver cómo se desenvuelve la pelea. Eh, creo que sale favorito Shakur sin duda. Por, por el estilo, sabemos que tiene el estilo afroamericano, muy rápido, boxeador, nos enfrenta y, y Oscar es de un golpe. Pero, pues bueno, vamos a ver. Veremos, dijo el ciego. Thank you so much for watching this video and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV and give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV on Twitter and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.